Uh, today I'm going to talk about the custom properties. So I'm um, just very briefly uh, before I go into the custom properties uh, detail how you can define that. I will just briefly touch upon why that is needed. So custom property is basically click there is a term used and click it's called ABC attribute based controls. So uh, if you have seen my previous video or you have seen the use of custom prop uh, security rules in click. So these security rules are based on attributes of a uh, users applications. For example, we say that if a user has certain attributes, you should have access to that particular screen and so on and so forth. Here is that how we define that. And then there is also, you know, these attributes can be a username or default ones, which comes with uh, environment, etc. But we can define our customized ones because the system defined are very fixed. But here we can have the access. For example, someone says that I want to mine and my access in this way, in that way, in that way. So you have can define those attributes and then use them in to further them. And if you see you, we have here resource filters. So what these resource filter does is whenever I click on resource filter, these essentially these attributes will appear whatever in dot that particular asset. For example, if we click on user or a virtual proxy. So when I go to virtual proxy, there will be a custom properties tab and I will be able to uh, write those custom properties. So custom properties by default does nothing. You just define a custom property for a certain user or stream or whatever, and you go in there and you just write it. That's it. Pretty much it. But that doesn't do anything unless you use that in a security rule. And that is where it gets the power. So in order to define that, I simply define, we have to define a name. So you see, if I have a space, it will not work. So it's, you know, it's important that I define um, without space and I can define any text in here. And this is another thing is about custom properties is that we have to define a list of values and that also safeguard you uh, when you because we are using that for different security rules. So if we just type in on the runtime with and there might be small differences, it can cause issues. So that is why it's very important to define this uh, list of values in here. And at any time we can come in and uh, uh, update that even up once we have completed it. So let's define custom property, click on apply. And uh, if I go to, let's say I have defined this virtual proxies. So if I go to a virtual proxy now, and if I just go in here and I see the custom property, you see it is appearing here and I can just define it. And then I can use that in, uh, security rules. Okay. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you very much.